You have arrived. We'll make our own cup noodles here at the Cup Noodles Museum.
Rosa. day of Japan and um, it's been a really really wonderful experience very culturally um, eye-opening and um, you know I really appreciate you know coming over and seeing the different culture in Japan uh, as a chef you know it, it's always good to see other cuisines and you get a, a very good idea of what other people do in other countries and you know, I, I think it's really, really great for me to see. It was a real big eye opener of what, you know, the possibilities of food. Uh, we, you know, as you can see, we've always been eating almost everywhere, and uh, the food is great. I think the food has been yeah, really amazing. It's, it's almost all very everything delicious. that we've had was was very, very delicious. But to share for those who are in Indonesia, those who are planning trips to to Japan, I think. Um, you know, you have to put aside at least a good 1.5 to 2 million a day uh, just so that, you know, you have enough money to... Yeah, but it's only like to, for food and... Yeah, for food. Shopping. You put aside, yes. put aside like hotel and of course you, you have to put aside those things like the Universal Studios and the... Um, yes, and other attractions. Other ticket. attractions that you you want, you better buy it online, Traveloka. Mm. Or, so you don't need to queue yeah, for so long. Buy it on Klook or, or Traveloka. Or Traveloka, you just show the barcode only. Yeah, and then you just go right in, yeah. which is so much easier than going to the place itself and to because buy. Because the, yeah, the queue is very, very long, so it will waste your time over there. And um, yeah, I think just based on food alone, I mean, Japan is really expensive. 
like it's like I said it's a good 150 to 200 dollars mm-hmm. but of course if you're on like saving mode and you guys um, don't want to spend too much you can always um, probably go to 7-eleven in the morning so what we mm-hmm. do is but even then 7-elevens you spend at least a good 10 yeah. 10 15 dollars which is about a hundred thousand a hundred fifty thousand just uh, in the morning alone because you know one sandwich mm-hmm. is already about almost thirty thousand and of course they don't have nasi jingo over there yeah <laughs> so uh-huh. they they have of course those kind of like sushi rice cakes and all which also cost about uh twenty thousand to twenty five thousand mm-hmm. per per piece mm-hmm. so you know with two of us eating you know with drinks as well mm-hmm. it will cost you at least a good uh, at least a uh, what 150 150 yeah, sometimes to kadang-kadang sampai 200 ribu kita belanja di 7-eleven pagi-pagi soalnya kita suka makan juga kan jadi pokoknya kita ngambil semua-semuanya jadi 200 ribu 150 ribu paling enggak untuk breakfast every morning yeah so throughout the whole day especially if you're eating out Japan's really expensive for eating out like we just came back from the sushi conveyor yeah. which is supposedly cheaper for uh, dining but even then i think we spend close to about three thousand almost three thousand four hundred eighty-five which, which is about four hundred thousand about four hundred thousand yeah, five hundred thousand four hundred five hundred thousand um rupiah which again you know if you think about it it's actually cheaper than or almost the same as what you might pay back if you go to sushi day in, mm-hmm. in bali so yeah it's, it's about there but i guess you know the food on other places will probably cost you the same as about Singapore prices so anyway we had an amazing time I loved Japan I will definitely be back this is not my last trip here mm-hmm. we definitely will plan another trip but maybe a different part of Japan maybe Hokkaido maybe Tokyo but yeah we definitely come back somewhere I will travel again to somewhere new alright thank you for watching if you like this video please uh, like, comment, and don't forget to subscribe my channel. Subscribe. See you next time.